In the previous episode, I showed you how to link Ledvan's app with SmartThings. Today we're gonna integrate SmartThings into Home Assistant. Integrating SmartThings into Home Assistant will automatically include Ledvan's entities into Home Assistant. What we need? A SmartThings personal token. As you can see on my screen, I'm on my Samsung's account login page. If you don't have an account yet, just create one. In case you have one, just log in. I will leave a link in the video description. So let's log into the account. I will log in with my Google account. As I said, if you don't have an account, just create one. And we'll get to this page. But before we continue, the second requirement uh, in order to integrate smart things to Home Assistant is either an Abu Casa account. It's a paid service that lets you uh, access Home Assistant from outside your network or a VPN solution or a remote access via domain name secured with SSL. I personally use Nabucasa, it works perfectly fine. It's a paid service, it's not that expensive. I will leave a link in the description in case you want to use it. Uh, for the other two options in my future videos, I will cover them. So let's create our personal access token. Just click on generate new token, give it a name. In my case, I put it home assistant, it's already here. And we need to select the following from this list here. Devices all, applications all, applications all. Then we need to select locations all and schedules all. Let's see if I missed any. I think it's about right. Now we need to generate the token. Just click generate token and we need to copy this token. So let's head over to home assistant. We go to settings devices and services, add integration, and we look for smart things. Click on smart things. Here it says I use Nabu Casa. I will click submit. I'm gonna change this access token because I have another account. I will paste in the newly created one and we click submit. Select location, I will put my home. I will give it the name Home Assistant 2 because I have already already have one. Click done. Click allow and close this window. Now we need to check if the Ledvance LED strip we integrated in the last episode is integrated in Smart Things. So we need to go to Settings, Devices and Services, look for Smart Things. It's over here. This is the second one I have here, and we just click here and press reload. Now the LED strip should be found. There it is, LED strip. Now I turn it off, I turn it on. That's it. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe. That will help me a lot as I just started this tutorial channel. I hope it's helpful for those who are just starting in home automations. If you have any suggestions for my future videos, please leave a comment below. Thank you, till next time.